right, everybody, good morning, happy Monday. Today we have a DD15 EPA 10. So it's a 2011-2012. We've got a couple lights on our dash. We've got the malfunction light, check engine light, and we are going to connect our laptop to see what's going on. The driver tells me, hey, I did a regen. It took over an hour and then it died out and didn't want to do it anymore. Did a regen again for about 15 minutes and then it died out again. So we're plugging in, we're taking a quick look and I'm gonna show you exactly what we found. Let's get this out of the way. It's gonna do its connecting. Yes, I know I have updates to do. I gotta renew my subscription, all the good stuff. It always lets you know, hey, this is what you gotta do. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the left where it says fault code. You're gonna click on that and it's gonna connect. It's gonna tell you exactly what's going on. So first thing first is coolant level low. That is an old code if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, not actually not that old. The 20th of October. We'll double check that issue, make sure we're not low on coolant. The next thing is the intake throttle valve. Position deviation error. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that happened on the 24th. Today is the 24th. So yes, this is a problem. This will definitely cause regen issues, temperature issues, because the throttle valve will not close as directed by the computer. The next thing we have is the soot level high. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, we are at zone four and we're gonna confirm that right there where it says, oops, sorry about that guys, where it says zone number four. So what we need to do right now is take the intake throttle valve out. I'm gonna show you that right here, intake throttle valve. So if you're looking at the side of the engine, driver's side, here is your intake throttle valve, okay? This thing needs to stay open and while it does the regen, it will start to close to about 80, 85%. It will hold that position to allow the engine to heat up, the exhaust gases to heat up, and the regen to be successful. However, if this is not functioning properly, this will definitely cause a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this. If I'm not mistaken, this is the original one on the truck. So 2011, 2012, it's a pretty old, uh, pretty old part. So we're gonna get rid of that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the intake throttle valve. We're gonna try to do a regen and we should be successful. So let me take the part off and we will go from right, guys, throttle there. valves there. You're gonna take it out, very, very simple. There's a plug right there that you're gonna go ahead and carefully take it out. No, espérate, tiene la, tiene la trampa por abajo. Por fierrito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these you're gonna see right now have this little clip or this guard and you're gonna remove that. Then you can remove the plug. Without that, you are not gonna get that out. There you go, see? There's a little metal clip or a guard that just kind of clamps around it and kind of helps secure it. Not all of them have it, but some of them obviously will. There you go. So now from there, I'm going to disconnect. Boom, you're ready to go. So now what we're looking at is going to do the throttle valve. He's going to pull the holes out. All you need is a couple tools, 13 millimeter socket, and your throttle valve comes out. And I'll show you that in a second. guys pretty simple four bolts hold it all into place I left the top one on just so it doesn't kind of fall there you go that kind of just helps hold it into place so it won't go anywhere it won't fall on you again this has this little bracket so put everything back the way you found it and that's pretty much it there's your throttle valve so you're gonna remove that go get a new one I'll show you the part number of the new one in a second uh, they do sell it two ways available. Okay, number one is going to be a factory remand. I would say, rec um, personally, I would avoid that one and actually go with the actual second option, which is the new option only. Okay, there's your throttle valve. Stuck. Yeah, you guys can see. Tony's going to show you. And this is exactly why the temperature is not able to get hot enough during a regen. It's completely stuck. You should be able to move this with your hand. See, completely stuck one way or the other. So we're gonna get a new one right now. We're gonna install it, be back in about an hour, do a nice regen, and then this should be ready to go. So be right back. Okay guys, check this out. Here is the new intake throttle valve. We just picked it up from Freightliner. That is your part number, D-D-E-E-A. That is gonna indicate that it is a new part, not a factory rebuilt. So let me quickly show you guys out of the way 
let me quickly show you guys the throttle valve so you can see what it looks like. It, it does come with some uh, gaskets, shims, whatever the heck you want to call them. Give me a second here. I'm going to take this out. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So it does come with these little gaskets and shims. You can use the old ones. I recommend. Might as well install the new ones. They're not that hard to install. That's the first thing you're going to look at. The next thing here is your brand new intake throttle valve. Now you're going to notice like the old one was stuck. This one, look at that, easy. So when you cycle your ignition and you hear the sweeping, that's typically what this is on the motor side. So that was stuck and that would definitely explain why we're not able to do a regen. Temperatures will not rise no matter what you do. Some guys I've heard try to get a screwdriver and kind of pry it open and pop it open. That may work, um, but in this case, we're gonna replace it. We don't wanna deal with any headaches. So let's get this installed and we will go from there. Uh, earlier, I looked at this part number. It said RMA, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, that might be just a casting number. Again, that may not indicate whether it's new or used. This part number, however, will tell us whether it's new or reman. I'm sorry. I meant to, I didn't mean to say used. I meant to say new or reman. So this is a new factory part, not a new reman part. So let's get it installed. Let's do uh, let's launch our computers and see what's going on, and we'll go hey from guys, there. And one thing we're going to do really quick just before we start the engine, we have the new part installed. And the next thing we're going to do, and I know you can't really see it here, is we're going to go ahead and take this out, okay, which is going to be this little bad boy here. That's your diesel doser injector, or some guys call it the seventh injector. We're going to take that out. We're going to clean it up just in case there's any carbon buildup put it all back in, start up the truck, and then do a and Here we have our new intake throttle valve installed. Tony went ahead and installed that for us. I uh, didn't really show the process. Honestly, it's, it's just kind of the reverse process of putting it all together. There's no magic to it. There's nothing super special. Just make sure you put it back the way you removed it. So we have the new throttle valve in. We've got our plug set up. We've got all, all of our, our CAC hose put in, got our bracket in, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So now what we're gonna do is clean up the seventh injector once we're done we're going to go ahead plug back in we're going to go ahead and connect here as usual do a parked regen should take about 30 to 40 minutes max depending on whatever we find and hopefully that'll be it so let's get the computer ready and let's get this all right guys we are back so we are going to go ahead and start doing a parked regen we have the new throttle valve i showed you guys that we still have our lights. Of course, they're not going to go anywhere until we do a successful region. We may have something going on for the deaf pressure or deaf air pressure low, but that's a different code, completely different from the problem we have now. So check engine light, malfunction light, and then over there you have the little indicator telling you, hey, do a region to clear this code. So now with the throttle valve being replaced, we're going to launch our software. Uh, let's see here. We're launching eventually click on OK it's going to connect it's going to give you all these little messages it's going to communicate with the CPC MCM ACM all the good stuff that we need to know to see let's see what it says now it should still have the same codes again it's not gonna go anywhere, but we are gonna go ahead and do a regen. So that being said, we're gonna clear this little notice out. We're gonna go here to where it says service routines. We're gonna go to where it says DPF, which it's already gonna be on DPF. And then the last thing we're gonna do is start the engine and then hit the uh, regen. So give me a second, let's start the engine and go from there. Okay guys, take a look, here are the codes still active but this one is going to tell us that this is not letting the temperature get up to here which is why it's going to generate this code as well so again right now we're going to do the regen if it's a little loud i apologize but i just want to quickly kind of go over some things this is good right now the regen has not started it's waiting for it to warm up once it warms up these will activate, temperatures will go up, and you're ready to go from there. Okay guys, so right about five minutes into it, the regen is now gonna start warming up. Inlet is going up, D 
DPF is going to increase and DPF outlet will increase. These are your doser pressures, okay? You can see right there it says active regen, which means we have now started the regen process. Start your timer again, 30, 40 minutes max. Let's find out. We'll be back. about 35 minutes into the park to regen. Uh, let's take a look and just see what we what, what's coming up. Pressure is good, DOC inlet pressure, very good. Throttle valve holding steady at 89%, almost 90%, which is definitely where we need to be. DOC inlet temp, we're at 700. Outlet, 1,000. And then DPF outlet, 1,000. So these two stay very close to each other. DOC, again, should always, should always I shouldn't say always. It should pretty much be about 600 to 700. That's pretty much standard. Our doser, diesel doser, the one behind the turbo is doing its job. We're still at the regen, uh, active of course, this is zone four. Now it will not change to zone zero until the regen is complete, okay? I mentioned that before in my other videos. See, it's still at zero. Uh, let's take a look really quick. Oil pressure is at 44, almost 45, but that really doesn't matter. I just like to look at it. Um, let's take a look here. Soot level high, again, until the region is complete. Once I take care of that, I'll take care of the def uh, pressure low. That could be a pressure limiting valve issue or a metering unit issue. Again, this is EPA 10, so it's a different setup than what some of the newer trucks are looking at. So again, I'm not gonna worry about that now. The whole point of this video is the intake throttle valve, the soot level high, and again, you're gonna get this particular code here. Parked regen failed, DOC temp in inlet low, preventing dosing. So again, if your throttle valve is not closing, temperatures cannot rise, you cannot do a regen. You will be there for an hour, more or less, ballpark, that's where you're gonna be at. So again, 35 minutes in, we're almost done. This should pretty much take care of itself. And I will show you guys the end result and go from there. Guys, in. we are about 42 minutes, 45 minutes into this. It should be ending pretty pretty soon, but uh, at this point, good lord, it must be pretty dirty. So again, just to go over it, throttle valve's good, temperature good, 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 doser, good. Uh, hold on, here we go. Pressure is good. Uh, SCR, NOx efficiency is looking good, as you all can see there. Codes, codes are still there again until this one is completely clean. DPF pressure low, I'm gonna get to that one. Uh, here we go, so still doing a regen. Again, we are about 40, almost 45 minutes in. It should be able to finish successfully, but we will find out, so keep you all posted. guys 45 minutes into it and the regen is done you can see the temperatures will start to drop almost right away this takes a while this will not drop right away this one pretty much right away goes from 700 on down our throttle valve is both back open to uh, full you know wide open all the way it's not closed anymore throttle valve fault code not even coming back we have our oh shit where'd it go soot level high inactive so again the only code i have to deal with now is the def pressure low which again it should either be a pressure limiting valve situation or a metering unit situation now again this has the old style with the one that has about five or six sensors on it so what i'm going to do right now just for the sake of this video is clear those codes it's not going to fix the active code but at the very least it will get rid of the codes that i no longer need to see and it will hopefully just present the ones I need to address, okay? Automatically, it'll stay in permanent mode. It will trigger once the truck gets moving and then it'll go back to active. Again, not gonna worry about that one right now, not for this video anyway. So, we're good. We are gonna go back to EGR. Here we go, actual zone, 
zero. Code has been cleared, successful repair, doesn't take very long. Again, if you have something like this, this is something you can do yourself. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, how do I know? It kind of just comes with the territory. It's all about you know, being around this stuff long enough that you start to learn um, how to kind of fix these things. So if you see something like that, as long as you don't have a bad computer, you don't have a bad harness, you should be good with just repairing that and replacing the throttle valve, doing a regen, and you're good to go. Hopefully that's it for you guys. So if you like the video, if it comes across as something that's helpful, guys, give it a thumbs up, like it. And let me just confirm over here, see? I've got no more codes. If you guys have any questions, as always, please hit me up. I hope you liked the video. Guys, have a great day.